Hey guys, um, today we are going to learn how to solve systems of equations using a, def a different method called substitution. So you'll learn this about this method next year when you're in high school, um, but I'm going to show it to you in advance so you'll have a little bit of a head start. So previously when we learned how to solve systems of equations, we used either the equal values method or graphing. So when we graphed, we would graph two lines and then we would see where they crossed, and that was our solution to our systems of equations. Okay, now we also, we would solve it using the equal values method, so we would say something like this, y equals 4x minus 2, and y equals negative 2x plus 3, and we would say, well, if y equals this, and y is this, then those two things have to be equal to each other, and we would just set them equal to each other, and we would solve them. So we would just go ahead and solve that. Okay, so that's how we previously did it. We either used graphing or the equal values method. So today we're going to use a new method called substitution. Okay, you're going to use substitution when you see equations kind of written like this. So I look at these equations, and this one says y equals this. And now this one over here says 5y plus 3x equals negative 13. Okay, so if I started thinking about this and I... Um, previously in the past we used equal values method. So first we would solve this for y. So I would subtract 3x <coughs> from both sides and I have 5y equals negative 3x minus 13 and then I would divide everything by 5. Okay now when I did that if you guys look at this it doesn't give me very nice numbers. I have fractions. So I could set this equal to that and I could try to solve it but it's not going to work out very nice. So there's another method that we're going to use to solve this that is much easier um, and won't involve fractions. Alright, so the new method we're going to use is called substitution. And substitution is really nice to use when you have one that says um, either y equals something or x equals something or where one of the variables is on one side. So I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, right here it says that y is equal to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this value right here, and I'm going to plug it in or substitute it for y. Because this is, it says y equals that. So right here where the y is, I'm going to put this value. So I'm going to end up rewriting this equation. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write 5 times. Now I need to fill in what the y is. Well, it says y equals this, negative x minus 7. Okay, then I'm going to rewrite the rest of the equation, plus 3x equals negative 13. Okay, so now I'm actually just going to go ahead and solve this. Okay, first thing I do need to do though is distribute here. So I'm going to do 5 times negative x, which would give me negative 5x, and then 5 times negative 7, which is minus 35, and then plus 3x. Okay, I'm going to simplify a little bit more. I should put my x's together. So negative 5x and 3x is negative 2x, minus 35 equals negative 13. Okay, my next step is I'm trying to solve for x here, so I'm going to add 35 to both sides. Okay, I know I have more positive, so I subtract. It looks like I get 22 equals negative 2x. All right, I have one last step down here. I need to divide by negative 2, because a negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1x, and 22 divided by negative 2 is negative 11. Okay, so I just solved my first part of my system. Okay, I know the x value is negative 11. Okay, now the nice thing is if I know the x value, I can just come back to my original equation and plug that in right here. So here's what it said, y equals negative, right, it's a negative here, and then I have to fill in x, which was negative 11, and then it said minus 7. Okay, here, the opposite of negative 11 is really positive 11, and then 11 minus 7 is 4. So my y value is 4. So here is my solution to the systems of equations, and I solved it using substitution. All right, so we have another um, systems of equations, and we want to figure out, well, what point will they cross, or what point do they have in common? So if I look at this, I see I have 2x plus 2y equals 18, and then over here I see that this one says x equals something. So whenever you see one that has just like x equals something or y equals something, it's a good candidate for substitution. OK, 
Okay, because I know here's what x actually equals. So I'm going to take that amount, because it says that's what x is, and right here where the x is, I'm going to plug that in. So I'm going to start by rewriting it. It says 2, parentheses, I'm going to fill in what this x is. It says x is 3 minus y, and then I'm going to rewrite the rest, plus 2y equals 18. Okay, so now I'm going to try to solve this for, obviously it looks like I'm going to solve it for y, since there's y's in this equation. Okay, so I'm going to start by distributing. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times negative y is minus 2y plus 2y equals 18. All right, so now if I kind of go ahead and look at this one and combine my like terms, I have negative 2y and positive 2y, which cancels. So I'm left with this, 6 equals 18. Okay, well, I know that 6 does not equal 18, so if I solve a system and I get that at the end, I know that there's no solution. Okay, th those two lines, they're never going to cross. There's not going to be a point that they share. So if you know that, then you have to know that they are parallel lines as well. Okay, so you could get um, a system of equations that has no solution as well. All right, so we're going to look at one more. Okay, so I have two equations here. You can see this first one and the second one. All right, and right away I kind of noticed that this one has one variable on the side. So it has y equals, here's what the y equals. So this is a good one for substitution. So where this y is over here, I'm going to plug in this because it says y equals x minus 4. So I'm going to start by rewriting this equation over here. So I have negative 5, parentheses, I'm going to fill in what y is. And it says y is this, x minus 4. Okay, then it says plus 8x equals 29. Okay, so basically I just need to solve this. So I'm going to start by distributing. I'm going to do negative 5 times x, which is negative 5x. And then negative 5 times negative 4, which is a positive 20. And then plus 8x. Okay, equals 29. All right, so now I'm going to combine my like terms. I have negative 5x and 8x. I have more positives. It looks like I'd have 3x plus 20 equals 29. Okay, I want to get the x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. And I get 9 equals 3x. And then your last step here is to just to divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, um, in my solution, I know the x-coordinate is 3. But I still need to go back and find the y-coordinate. Okay, so to find the y-coordinate, you can actually plug it into either of these equations. Now, I'm going to choose the one that looks easier, which would be this one, okay? Because I want to try to find y, so I just have to plug in where this x is. I'm going to put a 3, okay? So I'm going to just bring this down here so you can see it. Instead of this x, I'm going to put a 3. It says minus 4 equals y. And I want to figure out what y is, so I just have to do 3 take away 4. You can add the opposite, and you get y equals negative 1. Okay, so here is my solution to this system of equations. 3 comma negative 1. That's where those two lines cross, and that's the point that those two lines have in common. All right, so just a reminder, if you're confused still, just go back and rewatch one or two of the examples, okay, and take some notes if you need to.